Hello everyone, uh, this is a notice video, uh, yeah, this is regarding the uh, vowel, Ash, the AE looking uh, uh, character. Uh, we're going to talk about this character when it has a macron on it. Now, let's prelude this, uh, whatever I'm going to say about regarding pronunciation in Old English, or just old languages in general. The first things first, we have to remind ourselves, time and time again, we don't know how exactly how these people spoke. And how do we know? Some of you may be wondering, how do we know if they sound like this or sound like that? It's through texts that we have, the poetry, especially poetry, the rhymes. Um, it's one way. Another way would be uh, through modern dialects, that old uh, archaicisms still survive. I'll give you a classic example with my family's uh, dialect uh, in Yorkshire. Uh, yeah, from Yorkshire, uh, they still have a word uh, uh, that still descends from thou. They say tha and thee, you know. You know uh, so yeah, that's an example of, of how we have an idea, how we have an idea of working backwards and then from the, and then we can it's also spelling of words that's how we know but anyway 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 tension it's over so ash with a macron or accent is not e the way i've been pronouncing it for like 2 years turns out i've misunderstood uh the grammar book where i've learned um my old english pronunciation from okay uh most grammar books all agree that Ash with a macron is ah. Short ash, ah. Long ash, ah. So it's easier, I suppose, and uh, it makes me feel kind of bad because, uh, you know, I've been doing this pronunciation for so long, you know, like it's kind of hammered into me. Um, even worse, uh, well, I shouldn't say worse, but like, uh, it goes to show that, you know, I'm still learning this language as much as you are. You know, that, that, that's something to bear in mind. I mean, again, guys, I didn't learn this in university. I learned this on my own and with the help of uh, with a few friends. And then one friend in particular who, who taught me Old English. All right? I'm not academic, if you will. This is like, lack of a better term, working, uh, working class Old English. I mean, it, it's meant for the public, you know? Uh, that's kind of the point behind this channel. That's well, one of the reasons, you know. I mean, it's so that make old English not seem such like an elitist thing, all right? As some people are, I don't know. It's just I don't really like how smug how some academics can be. Like, oh, old English, you know, I have a sp special PhD in the language, and uh, yeah, so my opinion is superior to yours. You know, some. Whatever, that's a, that's a caricature. Um, yeah, but anyway, anyway, that's a tangent again, uh, another one, but uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so, short ash, ah, as in cat, mat, flat, how Americans say and, or, or uh, I don't know, pick a word. Um, so it's like an ah sound. So, short ash, ah, long ash, ah. Very simple, and uh, yeah, you can see the like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what word to use. I mean, it's not guilt. Uh, like, I, I, well, uh, it's good to be corrected because that's how we learn and grow. All right. Yeah, that's how we learn and grow. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.